Alright, so we're now going to go ahead and address the issue where when we turn on our brow up shape, the eyebrow doesn't actually follow. Okay, so what I've went ahead and done is I've created an eyebrow blend shape which allows it to move up and match up with the brow shape. Alright, however it's a bit inefficient to go ahead and have to key each of these sliders every time we want our character to raise his eyebrow. So the best way around this is to use a set driven key to link up the brow shape with the eyebrow shape so that when we turn on our brow shape this slider will follow suit. So the easiest way to do this is to go up to the animate window, go down to set driven key, set and we're going to select our character's face, go into the channel control under the facial expressions, we're going to select that and hit load driver. We're then going to go into facial expressions and select browse up. Okay. So the driver of a set driven key is the primary action that you're going to animate. For the driven, we're going to select our character's eyebrow, choose the eyebrow input from our channel control and hit load driven. We can then go into that and choose the eyebrow L1 and then we can hit key. So with that done, you'll notice that in the channel control, the eyebrow L1 is highlighted pink to let us know that there's a keyframe on it. We're then going to go back to our character's facial expressions, set the brows up to 1. Then we're going to go back, select our character's eyebrow, and under eyebrow L1, we're going to change that to 1. And then we're going to hit the key button. So now if I close down the set driven key, go back to the brows up facial expression, and as I move the slider down, you can see that as the brow moves up, our eyebrow changes shape. Now obviously this demonstration is quite quick, so the eyebrow is not moving exactly as it should, but you get the idea of what we're trying to accomplish.